terrifying multiple storm systems are on the way. Hi, most of you know me as Chief Meteorologist Chris Nation for KRX 5 and Fox 4. But you know that I'm actually a certified meteorologist with a degree in atmospheric science. This is a fast moving storm. We've got an inflow notch, deep low level rotation. Oh, and I also have an Emmy for my work in broadcast meteorology. So the next time you want fair, honest, accurate weather information that's more than highs and lows of the day, tune in every weeknight to Carry X5 and Fox 4. You know, a cold front came through when we're talking a 22 degree difference in rifle. National Weather Service on the entire western side of Colorado has issued winter storm warnings. For the first time in two and a half years, we are officially drought free. So, yep, I activated the fireworks because I wanted to celebrate it. If you look at the base just above the trees, that is the rotation in the wall cloud. We're seeing low level rotation, which is a fancy way of saying the storm is spinning on the bottom. We're talking about multiple waves, and by the time we get to Sunday night, we could be talking 20, 25 inches in the high country. Now, we are not out of danger by any means. Even if they get this fire contained in the next few minutes, red flag warnings are lit up across eastern Colorado, or western Colorado, eastern Utah, all the way up to Salt Lake. We expect gusts tomorrow of up to 40 or 50 miles an hour. High pressure is our buddy. It's going to be absolutely great for JUCO because it's going to stabilize the environment. Sunny in the morning, partly cloudy in the afternoon. Good evening, welcome back. This is one of those great times that we're going to cash in to talk about something that you may see on your phone or anywhere else or even on a competition site, and it's not really there. This is false imaging, but why does it have colors in it if it's not actual energy? First, that's why we add the layer of clouds, the satellite layer. There are no clouds there, so there's definitely no snow occurring. The only spot that could see some actual little flurries is up past Vail, and there's no clouds there either. So why the multiple colors? Because it's actually detecting the temperature. So when it's bouncing off some of the hills, higher elevations, it's detecting below freezing. So it brings that image back as a white. While the others that are lower in the little valleys along 70 are down further, so they're not to freezing, so they're coming back in the blue color. And the pink is right on the line at 32 degrees. So learn something new every day. Let's take a quick check of these fire dangers and as well as the cold fronts. We have ourselves fire weather watch in play for Moab at Gateway from noon tomorrow till 8 p.m. Then you get out down past 70 into the high country. Buena Vista has a red flag warning that goes all the way down to the New Mexico border at a southeast angle for extremely high fire danger due to winds ahead of the cold front tomorrow. Then we get to the main event, winter weather advisory from 9 p.m. until noon on Sunday for Vail, Aspen, Glenwood Springs, the entire corridor down to the edge of Denver. When we take a live look outside, it is the calm before the storm, or rather between them. We're at 45 now, winds east southeast at 11. Got a tiny bump in moisture. Humidity up to 35, 19 on dew point. Pressure down 29.95 with clear skies because the first cold front from this morning dragged a little bit of moisture we had and took it to the east after dumping close to four or five inches on some of the resorts. Last time you're going to see this graphic, we're putting it away. Trees, grass, weed, and mold all down to zero after three days of freezing. It's killed most of the vegetation out there, so we don't need it anymore. Now we take a look at the current temps, upper 20s to low 30s. And don't worry, we did get your email in the Redlands about some of those allergies, but they're just not high enough and spread out enough to cover them for everyone. We're in the low 40s in Montrose to mid 40s for us, low 50s on the Utah side. You know, a cold front came through when we're talking a 22 degree difference in rifle. 14 for us, 13 in Grand Junction, 15 in Aspen. It is a lot colder out there right now than it was this time last night. Winds have calmed a bit, and we normally see that shift back to the east for downslope off the hills. Moisture bump wasn't much, anywhere from 19 for us, 22 in Montrose. Moisture content on the surface is varying in the 80s in Aspen and Gunnison and Glenwood Springs, zones that got snow. Then that snow melted in the, shun in the sunshine today and went back into its gas form. Leading edge, the old cold front is now moving through Kansas and Nebraska. It is gone. I'm not even worried about it because high pressure is building in behind it. If you're Traveling to Salt Lake City tomorrow, you may encounter a thunderstorm up there that will turn into a blizzard. Now, let's take a look at the snow projector for the whole state. Yeah, there's a lot coming because anytime you see that pink, that's a foot marker. And you get to those darker pink circles up by Steamboat, that's a foot and a half, maybe two feet. You get the idea. Stronger storm system with a cold front that has Arctic air in it. Let's track it down together. The high pressure gives us clear skies tonight, sunny most of tomorrow, but creates a strong winds. There's the Arctic front arriving tomorrow evening. Wrap around off its core as it slides off to the northeast. So now that we know it's coming, we know that's a done deal, let's talk about the actual timing as well as the energy. We go to the surface temp map. Notice there, cool 
cool night tonight. Strong winds in the afternoon, creating some of that fire danger. Cold front itself on our computer is projected to reach Grand Junction by about 8 p.m. tomorrow night, then quickly move through the high country and be out into the plains by dawn on Sunday. So what's it bringing with it? Well, we go to the HD Futurecast computer. We see clear skies in the morning. They cloud up quickly. Light showers by about 11 p.m. tomorrow night. Snow developing along 70. Look at this column of snow that goes through the high country, though, and over the divide. That is where we're talking those foot markers that will probably come through. And there was some lingering stuff there as well. We could a quick check of rainfall projector. Only 0.01 for most small spots out there. Let's take a quick check, though, and show you what's going to happen for tonight. Overnight low here is going to come in right at about 35, mostly clear and cool. No chance of winter mix. All the way to 14 in Gunnison, 36 in Moab for tomorrow. It will be sunny in the morning. Winds will pick up in the afternoon. The clouds will build by about 4 or 5 o'clock. We should see some moisture on the deck by the time. We start to get into the overnight hours, guys. Now we go to 52 on Sunday. We slowly warm up. Another cold front on Wednesday into Thursday. Back into the low 50s and back into overnight lows below freezing. So back and forth, fall and winter, fighting it out. Shelby from California, not happy. Let me tell you, tonight's low 35 is less than half of my ideal temperature. True, but you were here in the Fun winter. Fact. I mean, you know, Fun you fact. know it gets to this. It's, it's coming on. I know. What about traveling? Anyone heading on the corridor? When are the best times to go? Ooh, uh, I would go in the morning, do it quickly, and get through and get over the pass, and then don't plan to come back. Till Monday. I know a few folks who have a trip this weekend, yeah. and they're going to have to wait till Monday morning for the least to get back. There's going to be issues all Sunday into Monday, especially from Vale beyond. All right, Saturday morning, Monday evening. Yeah, we otherwise, don't go in. Good information yeah. to have. Very good information to have, Chris. All right, Chris, thank you very much. We'll be back with more news and, of course, Friday Night Frenzy coming up.